Hi, today I'm going to change my pollen filter and air filter. So the pollen filter is under the scuttle trim below the windscreen. For full access you want to remove the windscreen wipers, but to quickly change a filter is not essential. To remove the trim, there's five clips. Remove the central peg and the rest of the clip should pop out. I've checked through the service history on mine and I can't see the last time the pollen filter was ever done. Then remove the metal grip that holds the trim onto the car body. Now lift the scuttle trim onto the passenger side. I grab as much of the leaves and insects as I can before I remove the filter so it doesn't blow inside the car. So this looks a bit grim, but as I said, I hadn't seen it mentioned anywhere in the service history it's ever been done, so this could well be 12 years old. I then scoop out more debris from the filter box uh, and give it a good vacuum. The new filter. There's a front and a back to this. If there's an arrow on the filter, it could be the airflow direction. It was marked on my old one, but not on my new one. So mine's just held in by friction, but there is a clip on some. So put it back together, um, replace the grip, and then pop all the clips in, and job done. For the air filter, this is a diesel, and the air filter's in the box in the front. I think for the petrol it's in a similar place, but the box is a bit deeper and has Jaguar printed on the top. So remove the engine cover. Uh, to do that, pull out the dipstick, um, and I probably should have removed the oil filler cap here, uh, and the cover pops off. There's 10 Phillips screws holding the lid on. I, I also unplug the airflow sensor so I can twist the whole of the lid out of the way. This doesn't look too bad and I think it was done last year, but I'll change it anyway while I'm here. I gave it a quick vacuum, but it wasn't really necessary. The new filter slots in. Just check it's seated nicely and then do up all the screws and job done. So next on my list is a brake fluid flush uh, and an oil and filter change. Over the next couple of years, I'll have discs and pads, a coolant flush, both belts to change, and probably the transmission oil as well. <laughs>